the um, range rate is minus 0 0.1, the resource is 5 to 7, and the target is off by less than a uh, square. Mm -hmm. Copy. G'day, everybody. Where's Wally here? Look, I thought I'd better check out the docking of the uh, huge new module to the ISS, and it looks like I missed it. But my good mate, Raw Space, he never misses it. So I went to his channel and checked it out, and here are the money shots, the juicy bits. On the right of your screen is uh, the Soyuz spacecraft that carried Oleg Novitsky, Pyotr Dubrov, and Mark Vandehei to the International Space Station back in April as the newest component of the orbital outpost closes in for its contact and capture with the complex. We got you. The target is in the center and the crosshairs are aligned. Copy. Everything's good, guys. We copy. We copy. That's everything's good. Oleg. Uh, we are at 31 around, like, so use floodlight just in case. We, the camera, we didn't copy Vladimir Alexeyevich. Uh, we didn't copy your last range. Uh, we're entering the. We're losing light. Losing light? Well, that's because the ISS is only a few minutes from orbital sunset. Target is. Um, 15 meters separating uh, Nyoka from the station. Range is about 10 meters. The target is a little bit going off. Decide. Copy. Oh, wow, well, that looks close. That has to be just meters away. Range is 0 0.09. Oh, this is so cool. See, the Earth is getting darker, but the sunlight 400 kilometers up, well, it's not going to go away for a few more minutes yet. Copy. We are sending Peru BPS in your shell. Stand by, Oleg. And for the final few meters, uh, Oleg Novitsky taking over manual control of the flying of Nyoka. Initial command range is about 10 meters. Oh, this is even better because now the Earth is dark. We can see clearly the gas thrusters working hard to park this sucker. Range is 10 meters. Six meters now, Novitsky flying uh, the Nyoka multi-purpose laboratory module in for its docking. Range is five meters. The target is in the center, and the crosshairs are aligned, and the range rate is minus 0 0.08. We copy. Range is four. And the misalignment is unintelligible. We copy. Standing by for contact and capture. We are losing the image. The range is three meters. Copy. Range rate is minus 0 0.1. The target is in the center. The crosshairs are aligned. Copy. Is it just me or are those solar panels just flapping around a little bit? The CGI department is sure bringing their A game tonight. Is 0 0.1. We're standing by for contact. And once you get the contact, and um, the please deactivate. Once you confirm contact, please deactivate PUBPS. Copy. Contact and capture. Docking confirmed at 8:29 a.m. Central Time. Nyoka has been a long time coming, but has now pulled into port at the International Space Station. Congratulations, that was not an easy docking. Was not an easy dock? You bet it wouldn't have been. We have deactivated the manual control mode. Copy. Oleg? Look at that Terminator way over there now, zipping away. Retract. Docking occurring again at 8.29 a.m. Central Time, 9.29 a.m. Eastern Time, as the International Space Station and Nyoka flew 260 miles over the border between Mongolia and China.
The next step uh, will be the start of the retraction of the docking probe to bring the two docking interfaces uh, between NIOCA and the Zvezda service module into uh, a firm handshake with one another to initiate the uh, closing of the hooks on both sides of the docking interface. And the docking probe is now retracting. Once again, eight days after its launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, a new module has arrived at the International Space Station. The 22.5 ton Nyoka multipurpose laboratory module has reached its destination on the uh, Earth facing side of the Russian segment of the station. Now, if you've never seen an orbital sunset, watch this. The colors as they change, as they sweep across the station, are kind of amazing. We're standing by for the completion of the retraction of the docking probe and the initiation of the closing of the hooks to form a hard mate. And as the ISS plunges, we see the city lights, some Chinese city 400 kilometers below. Well, wasn't that amazing? Thanks very much, guys, for bearing with me. I love this sort of stuff. Sorry, flatties, you miss out. You don't get to enjoy any of it.